All right. What I'm going to do here is just make a quick video about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So, hyperbaric oxygen therapy is collectively known as HBOT. And what hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is is a couple of really important things and the way it works is it uh, pressure with added oxygen equals hyperbaric oxygen therapy okay and when we have those two things combined we get a, a, a few th amazing things that happen within the human body one of it one of them is we get a supra physiological increase in the oxygen concentration in our blood. So this is really important. So here's a blood vessel and here are all of our red blood cells within it each of which carry the oxygen molecule. So, so oxygen is carried by these red blood cells. Under normal conditions, that's the primary way we get oxygen anywhere in our body. And the reason it's important to get oxygen to our cells is because oxygen makes energy. So we need oxygen to make any kind of energy for our cells. And when they make energy, what they do is they are able to heal or regenerate and reconnect or regrow and proliferate. So that's great. So how does it do it? So what happens is if we look at our lungs here, this is our tubes coming down, delivering oxygen into our lungs, which are really tiny little molecules, but I'm drawing them out for you. The, our blood, the, the blood vessels are on the outside here. What happens is these red blood cells are just waiting to catch these oxygen molecules. So what they do is they diffuse through and they go, they go onto the oxygen molecules. Well, under hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which is really the most amazing way that it works, is that it is able to actually diffuse these into the plasma of our blood or the fluid of our blood. So now we don't require oxygen molecules, I'm sorry, we don't require red blood cells to carry the oxygen molecules. And the red blood cells are bigger. So this is really important when you start talking about microcirculation in, in deeper regions of our cells and tissues and our brain and different areas where if we have these tiny little oxygen molecules available in our bloodstream uh, or in our fluid of our bloodstream and not just by the bigger of our blood cells then these little guys can diffuse deeper into our tissues and they can just and they're pushed further because uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy actually increases our blood flow and pressure so it pushes the blood flow at a very healthy gentle rate but it pushes it deeper into our tissue through that microcirculation and that of course makes all of these gives more oxygen more energy to all the all of our cells and tissues allowing them to heal and that's really exciting and really important and one of the primary ways in which it works and that is through it's just physics right it's just it's just what we call what's called Henry's law of gases. So it says that basically as you increase your pressure, um, your, your oxygen in this case is transformed into from a gas to a liquid form. So it transfers from a gas to a liquid and it becomes soluble in the fluid of our blood. Now, what there's a lot of other things that hyperbaric does. One of the other things it does, which is tremendously important for injuries, is it decreases inflammation. So let's just erase this. So one of the first tenets is that it increases our blood concentration of oxygen 
in the plasma by up to 1200%, give or take, in the deeper, deeper chambers. More pressurized chambers create more oxygen. The lesser pressurized chambers create less oxygen. The chambers we use are somewhere in between 300 and 600%. Very safe, and that's important. There's not, you know, really many side effects or anything from that. So we can use these with great efficiency and, and, and safety and great, get great uh, physiological results. They're especially uh, the most effective for the neurocognitive conditions like concussions and TBIs and, you know, just brain uh, neurological uh, uh, dysfunction. But the other thing it does, which is really a big one for us, is it decreases inflammation. And it does this by creating constriction of blood vessels while still increasing tremendous amounts of oxygen. Because remember, these oxygen molecules are now all within the plasma and they're really tiny. So even if this blood vessel becomes really skinny and the red blood cells can't squeeze in, then you've got all these little oxygen molecules that can still make it through. So they're still getting to their destination, which is really important. And what's also important to understand is that each red blood cell carries up to a billion oxygen molecules. If that tells you how tiny they are, that's, that's why they can diffuse in and squeeze through tissues further into things because they're so darn tiny, they just go wherever they want. And so they saturate your whole body with oxygen. So if we drew a little guy here, forgive my terrible artistry, the whole body becomes saturated with oxygen. and not as much limited by our circulation and our blood cell count, those types of things. Now, it is important to understand that just because we do hyperbaric doesn't take the oxygen molecules away from the red blood cells, they're still there. So we're just adding this other piece in, which is really helpful and important. So it does this by decreasing the, con constricting the blood vessels, which is gonna reduce the leakage of the fluid with these damaged and injured blood vessels, and it increases oxygen. So it, it increases vasoconstriction, and it increases oxygen at the same time. So this prevents the leaking blood vessels, and this, of course, generates the ATP or the energy for healing and growth, so that tissue heals. Uh, some of the other things it does is it, it activates all stages of wound healing. So for wound healing in general, it activates all stages, and it does that acutely. It does that when you go in there just once. It's uh, some of these other things that we'll talk about, like uh, infl decreasing inflammation, is also acute. It starts doing that from the first time you get in there. When you start getting into um, creating neuroplasticity and basically healing brain cells or neurons, which uh, heal through what we call neuroplasticity or re regenerate, which is increasing the connections and signaling between the neurons and, and increasing healthier, faster function in the brain. Uh, that's called neuroplasticity. And that's where, that's where hyperbaric really comes into play in a lot of the work that I do too, is that it creates a healthier brain. Hopefully you can read that angled. Uh, creates a healthier brain by stimulating neuroplasticity because neuroplasticity needs energy uh, or brain neurons need energy to heal. And that's essentially, uh, they need activation, they need, they need a few other things, but they really need oxygen to, to create energy to heal. If they don't have that, then they can't heal. And so they need that delivery of oxygen. So that's extremely important. And it heals a lot of people's brain issues from just that uh, perspective. But of course, it's affecting everything in the body. So it's not just the brain that's healing, it's all your cells. Uh, it's also improving autonomic nervous system function, which is really important in a lot of the work that I do. So the autonomic nervous system uh, delivers, once again, delivers oxygen, tells, it's the brain telling blood flow where to go in the body. 
So it's really important and it delivers oxygen and blood flow to where you need it when you have higher metabolic demand. So like if I'm gonna throw a ball or uh, I'm gonna have to send more blood flow to this arm, also my stabilizing mechanisms on this side. I'm also gonna have to send blood to the brain to coordinate the activity, to tell my muscles what to do and to make sure it's accurate. So it has to, this is really important. So the hyperbaric oxygen therapy actually, uh, that pressure change really activates and strengthens this autonomic nervous system, which is really exciting for, for everybody, but for especially the work that I do uh, in my clinic. Um, the other thing it does is it increases, we think now, it's starting, we're gaining more evidence on this, but cerebrospinal fluid flow and lymphatic drainage, we know it does, we know it does that. Um, and so it's increasing detoxification. So it's detoxifying removing waste and chemicals. The supraspinal fluid, um, what that does is it bathes the brain with nutrients and, and stuff that it needs, but it also removes toxins and, and uh, waste materials. And the same thing with your lymphatic system. Um, but it's really just, it's this pumping action of the blood vessels. It's like, it's like working the pipes out. So it's pushing things out and it's, it's activating movement and, and uh, excretion of things that you don't want in your body, but also delivering the right things to it in a similar way with blood vessels, um, getting oxygen and nutrients to these different regions. So pushing it deeper and further into the body, which is really good for the oxygen and removing these types of things. Um, let's see, that and that we talked about. Um, with the with the uh, chambers, they are very pretty, very comfortable. And what you want to look at is that when we when we put people in these chambers, we're really changing the pressure very slowly, and that makes it that's very comfortable for patients. Every once in a while, people will just kind of have when you have sinus pressure, you know, your ears your 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 ears will bother you. But we have a lot of techniques and things we can do that can help to mitigate that type of discomfort. Um, we don't like to, uh, we like to have people very comfortable in there. And of course it's, it's important for their, for their treatment because their treatment, this is cumulative. So we talked about some of the short-term benefits here, but long-term these changes in neuroplasticity and rebuilding the cellular structure. So we need time to rebuild the scaffolding of our body, if you will the cellular structures, the cells themselves, it takes cumulative energy and time and effort. That's why, that's why each body is cumulative. And most of the research shows that 40 treatments is kind of a basis for generating this long-term change. Um, it creates epigenetic changes as well. So it actually creates gene shifts of expression of your cells, which is really important, um, has certain it, it, you have certain oxygen reactive species uh, that on your, in your genes that respond to low oxygen levels or high oxygen levels. And you can turn things on and off that way. And which is really cool, we can turn off a lot of the bad genes and we can turn, off, turn on a lot of the good genes with higher oxygen because that's your way your body's made. So it responds well to it. And for stimulating growth, regrowth and, um, and stimulation to just all cells. Uh, which is really cool. Um, we, uh, we love that and that just takes time. Um, what we also get, which is really important, um, is that we get an exponential release of stem cells. Okay. And so stem cells are really important. They're undifferentiated cells, meaning they're blank cells and they can go anywhere they need to and be transformed into whatever cells necessary. And so they're really important for healing, which is a really exciting part of uh, hyperbaric, which increases exponential release of these stem cells, which is really exciting, especially neurologically. Uh, we get a huge increase in neurological stem cell release, which is really important for healing the brain, uh, especially after concussions and these types of things. So really important aspects uh, that amplify the function of our body. And if we do it long enough, it becomes more of a permanent shift. And that's, um, you know, unless you do the same offending injury again, uh, it should heal and become a long-term change. And that's called, that's the neuroplasticity we talk about, which is changing the brain and making the brain really efficient in these pathways 
so that, you know, for instance, you're never going to forget your mom's name uh, because you've built those pathways so so uh, progressively that it's just not going to happen. So so we the brain is not like other things. The brain, you know, we say you, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's a big, well, the brain actually um, can make permanent changes uh, and, and does all the time and just uh, required a, it requires you to put in the effort in the beginning in order to do it long enough over time, frequently over time, so that it shifts uh, permanently. Um, but a lot of, sometimes people just don't do enough and that's what happens uh, for, for other, other people. But yeah, it's cumulative. Uh, we'll just kind of make a little note of that over here. And so it does take time, but you can get a lot of these benefits short term. Like we use it for people who have you know, wounds that won't heal or injuries. Uh, we'll, use, we'll do short term type of protocols, you know, not only a few treatments um, with the hyperbaric. And then for people that have TBIs and brain injuries or not neurological conditions um, or things just from, from old injuries, we'll do longer protocols because we have to rebuild the tissue as we talked about, go through a whole healing mechanism. But here for these short term things, you hurt your neck or your back or you do different things, you can do these short term things or you have a you hurt, you sprain your ankle and you're trying to get back to walking. These things just generate such faster recovery that uh, it's really worth your time to, to look at these things. Um, and uh, we're having excellent success with a lot of conditions. Uh, so there's a lot of evidence and research on concussion or, or traumatic brain injury for, for individuals uh, and the efficacy of that. Journal of Neurology has released some great articles on that and uh, reviewed different articles. Uh, a lot of great, great response with PTSD and stress and anxiety, uh, and just general, which which will tell you, like you can infer from that, just general, general improvement, uh, which is really neat for people, or general wellness and maintenance of your body. Uh, I often tell people like it's important to kind of do the treatment initially to get some shift your body, but then just maintain it, or don't. You know, you can do it either way. But um, there's a lot of options that you can do with this, but just for people who are stressed and anxious and busy and just wanna be healthier, it's just a really great way to do it that uh, is simple. You can just go in this chamber, you can bring your book, you can, you can bring your phone, your laptop, you can get work done in there, that's what I do a lot of times. And it's just a really efficient way, you don't have to do anything. This is why I love this treatment so much is that it's hands off. We put you in the chambers and you're just getting better. You don't have to put in a lot of effort. You just have to put in the, you know, be there and take time out of your day. But uh, it's about an hour treatment uh, and can be longer for different conditions, but uh, it's really easy. It's in, and it's using your body's own natural uh, mechanisms of healing to, to be healthy and using the natural laws of physics in, in the world to promote that, which is really, really exciting for a science nerd like me who loves this type of stuff and to generate these types of changes for people this is this is the it's a strong word to use but the magic bullet I've, I've been looking for that I've been looking for some treatment like this to complement my my neurological rehab and my chiropractic care with some patients that I'm getting such better results with patients when I combine these now, it, by itself, it's really fantastic, but, uh, and it does, it gets amazing results, but what I've been using, adding this hyperbaric in with my neurological patients, especially concussions and migraines and headaches and those types of things, I'm getting such better results, and it's, uh, or faster, you know, more efficient results, and, and it's just really, really exciting, and uh, because it, it creates energy, it creates energy for the healing that has to occur, it creates, it creates activation to these cells that are so, so deep in the brain or deep in your tissues that they may not be receiving what they need. And so it wakes these cells up, we call them senescent cells, and they become more appropriate, healthy and active, and they contribute to the general function, inhibiting our stress and anxiety in our limbic system, promoting healthier brain you know, function to shut down kind of those types of uh, activities that we really don't like is from day to day, the worries and the anxieties and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, so that's really what's going on with it. It's really exciting. Um, if you have questions, just, you know, reach out to, uh, to our clinic and uh, we'll be happy to, happy to answer for you. Thank you.